Planetary habitability assesses the potential of planets and moons to support life. Today, we're venturing to the outskirts of the solar system and beyond, where heat and energy are scarce but not non-existent. Triton, orbiting Neptune, experiences significant tidal heating due to its high orbital tilt. This suggests it might have a layer of liquid water or even a subsurface ocean. Charon, Pluto's moon, could harbor a mix of water and ammonia beneath its surface, hinted at by signs of cryovolcanic activity. Heat retention models and radioactive decay suggest that smaller icy bodies like Rhea, Titania, Oberon, Triton, Pluto, Eris, Sedna, and Orcus may hide oceans under about 100 kilometers of ice. These oceans might touch the rocky cores, allowing minerals and salts to mix into the water. This is different from larger icy moons like Ganymede, Callisto, or Titan, where high-pressure ice layers might separate the water from the core. For exoplanets and exomoons, habitability might depend on the right orbit for liquid water, plus factors like atmospheric density, radiation, and their host star's plasma environment. As of April 2024, we've confirmed 5,653 exoplanets, with around 80 in the habitable zone with suitable mass and radius. The James Webb Space Telescope, or future telescopes, could detect life signs by finding Earth-like atmospheres. These biosignatures may never be absolutely conclusive, but they can suggest the presence of plant or animal life by detecting signs of photosynthesis and biogenic gases. Technological civilizations could leave traces of pollution, detectable even from hundreds of light years away. The most promising technosignature gas that may be very difficult to explain without the presence of intelligent life is chlorofluorocarbons. With a solid chance of finding alien life in the next 20 to 30 years, planetary habitability is a hot topic for those tracking humanity's milestones. And it's a top priority for us. In addition to this series of videos, we've created a poster and a pocketbook detailing the celestial bodies in our solar system where the existence of life, past or present, has been considered. The content is available to explore and download at bit.ly slash solar habitability.